And we're back. Okay, I, I'm in hand, hand, handheld motor documentary style. Um, so we have this 75 watt baby inverter that I picked up, which is nice and handy. And it's plugged into my the 12 volt wall socket here. The other socket is just USB ports, if you guys remember. There they are. Um, this also has a USB port. And there's my voltage reading on the battery, so we're good there. This kind of sucks because it's inverting um, from 12 volt up to 120 volt, then back to down to 12 volt to give a charge into that little DVD player. There's the light on, see that? So, smoke detectors right there too. Um, so yeah, that kind of, um, it's kind of stupid, right? You're going from low to high, back down to low. Now, mind you, this doesn't take a lot of power, and neither does this inverter, which is nice, right? But this this thing, this is nice here because 75 watts is pretty decent. You could run a TV off of this, or some other electronic device um, with as little issues whatsoever. Now, it's mod sine wave. It's not a pure sine wave inverter. But it is smaller than my 400 water behind the, in the solar ca cabin back there. Solar washroom. <laughs> yeah. So, um, hopefully I can, I'm going to get a card, um, hopefully somewhere, or even a USB uh, stick, put some videos on it and see if I can play the videos on there. Um... That way this thing isn't a total loss. The DVD player does not no longer work for whatever reason, which really sucks. Really sucks. But what am I going to do? Also, had it came with a controller and a bunch of other stuff that I tried and no success. Has a remote. But that's a nice alternative, guys, as backup for off the grid. Because you're not always going to have nice weather and you can't and with, especially with my battery size I can't run a TV over here um, obviously there's not one here but future there will be hopefully um, and you know you gotta have alternatives you know radio or not radio but well podcasts and stuff something external on its own battery that you can basically charge a bunch of these devices up during the day and then just leapfrog when one gets low to the other to the other to get you through the night and then you should be satisfied with whatever hopefully that's the goal but this thing seems to be working not warm whatsoever not warm and lots of lots of power coming in so I gotta put the cam back on charge this is something rigged up now, I know, let me take a look at this because I may actually be able to use that. So this end is just spliced into a switch and then from there it continues on. Now I could um, use this. No, it's not labeled. I think my dad gave me this to charge up potentially if I unhook this and use that wire to wire into the um, 12 volt side of things over here. Let's say if I cut this cord in half and located the proper once I'll locate it with a multimeter, tag both sides, so if I have to put this back together, I can. And then run that directly off the 12 volt um, for charging, which would be ideal, because these things are okay if you're in a house. But if you're off the grid, you know, it, you don't want to be running inverters at night, because it's inefficient. So, you know, 
do what I can. I'll figure something out. Anyway, that thing's charging. I'll let it charge. I don't know how much it actually needs. Countertop, relatively clean. I'm going to get rid of this wire for now, though, because I don't want to mess things up again. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to toss some stuff here. And yes, the storage room has to be cleaned up next. For sure. Absolutely. But one room at a time. I still got to clean the bed off. A um, bunch of stuff there. The countertop is finally done. Other than, well, I got to move that stuff. And these fans I got to test out again. This one... I think I can fix. I'm going to take this apart actually. Probably now. It's the rubber inside there. I had it a little cl too close to the fireplace in the position. And we had a little meltdown situation. So let me put my camera back on charge and I'm going to start taking this thing apart.